Welcome to Apothecary Bloom. May I interest you in some black root? It's complimentary. Puts hair in your chest. No. I suppose it isn't very polite to eat in front of a client. You know, it isn't every day that I get a request to shut down the shop for a personal consultation. My name is Heather. I dispense Materia Medica to enrich your life. I have vast knowledge of the healing and therapeutic properties of countless substances. I see you have some scrapes on your hands. Would you like me to take care of that for you? You don't have to tell me how you got it. I'm not your diary. Hold out your hands. Don't be silly. It's just band-aids. I have a bunch. Pick out a few of your favorites. I have some alcohol. Well, you have to disinfect it first, of course. Hold out your hand for me. I know that my shop doesn't look as sophisticated as modern day pharmacies, but I essentially perform the same services in addition to some more unique fare. The history of apothecaries goes as far back as 2600 BC in ancient Babylon. Clay tablets were found along with records of affliction, symptoms, and treatments. Aber's papyrus, it's one of the oldest papyri found from ancient Egypt. That was found with over 800 prescriptions. It's amazing, right? Geoffrey Chaucer, the author of the Canterbury Tales, Stay still. Mentioned apothecaries in his famous work. And an apothecary dispensed poison to Romeo. The poison that eventually Did our star-crossed lovers in in Shakespeare's famous work. Hold out your hand, please. Keep it still. some tricks up my sleeves. Mm -hmm. 
I was told that you were skeptical. An apothecary can do for a person. That's okay. I heard you have a long shopping list, which is why I have afforded you my complete attention. Hopefully by the end of all this, you'll be a little bit more convinced of my skills, and I'll be a little bit wealthier. It can be mutually beneficial for both of us. I have a menu of ingredients and pre-prepared items that I can dispense to you today. I also make custom orders if you need something made. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me take out my book. just going to run down the list and read everything to you. If you hear something that you're interested in, just let me know. I'll mark it and keep note of it. All right? All right. Oh. How could I forget? My monocle. I don't wear it in front of my eye. Oh, it needs to be cleaned. I hold it near. The text. Around my wrist. So first, allergies. For the treatment of allergies, I can offer you a mixture of basil, fennel, parsley, tarragon, black tea, thyme. For arthritis, rheumatism, or gout, you can have apple cider vinegar, avocado, cayenne, celery, cloves, parsley, pineapple, rosemary, and turmeric. For asthma, I have anise, cranberry, coffee, tea, and vitamin C. For burns, I have apple cider vinegar, baking soda, garlic, raw honey, and okra. Um, that comes, let me show you. Just take this off for a moment. That comes as a liquid. It's a, uh, I know it's a little bit cluttered, but if you, I just, thank you. Comes like this. This is my supply. I would measure out the dosage for you, but it would be taken orally, um, either by a dropper or spoon or syringe. Would you like to smell it? You do have to shake it before you use it. Smells really good. Inhale. It's nice, right? Just place that right there. All right. Let's keep going.
or insect bites. I have basil, cayenne, clove, garlic, rosemary, thyme, and citrus oils for repellent. That is right over here. It's a spray. Um, I'll spray some into the air just so you can smell. I won't get it on you. The good thing is, it's non-toxic. It's made from all natural materials, so... If you spray it, and the occasion isn't right, nothing happens. You just get a really nice mist that would help with insect bites, should you need it to. Okay. For high cholesterol, we have oat bran, barley, beans, carrots, avocado, celery, garlic, onion, ginger, fenugreek, and shiitake mushrooms. I love mushrooms. For colds and flu, we have cayenne, citrus fruits, sorry, it's printed very small, cloves, garlic, ginger, honey, onion, oregano, rosemary, and thyme. Next page. For conjunctivitis, we have potato and thyme. For headaches, we have bay leaves, cayenne, cloves, rosemary, and that is right over here. And it, yeah, thank you. It, it comes, it looks like a household spice. Would you like to smell it? Don't breathe this one in too deeply. It's a little savory. Hmm? It's pleasant. Insomnia, we have cinnamon, clove, and rosemary. You don't happen to have trouble sleeping, do you? With that mixture, what you would do is pour it into some hot milk and drink it like a bedtime beverage. For stress, we have a mixture of berries, celery, clove, oatmeal, and rosemary. For swelling and inflammation, there's ginger, pineapple, and turmeric. For viral infections, we have cloves, garlic, lemon, oregano, thyme, and shiitake mushrooms again. And the last pre-prepared item is for Scarborough Fair Skin, and that is parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, and that is right over here. Mm. 
So cluttered, I know. It's because I have so much, so much knowledge here. Okay, so you can purchase things like that that are pre made, or you can also purchase individual ingredients. Let me get that menu for you. It's a separate one. Okay, so put that down. Let's pick this one. These are the items that I have in stock. I just did inventory, so hopefully it's accurate. Be careful. I know I must look terribly disorganized to you. There is a method to my madness, though. And that method is disorganization. First ingredient is acai oil. It contains a high amount of antioxidants and helps protect the skin from harmful free radicals. Um, that is over. No, not you. Not you. Not you. Again, you wouldn't get this. I would distribute however much you needed, but this is my own stock. I mean, you could buy this if you wanted. So I'll put that right back here. So then we have almond oil. It protects from sun damage and it's an anti inflammatory. Aloe leaf juice. Aloe leaf juice is very soothing for the skin. It can help with burns, itching, irritation, even bee stings. Apricot oil. Oh. Apricot oil gently moisturizes the skin. Babasu oil, another moisturizer for the skin. It doesn't leave an oily residue, which is very nice. Uh, banana fruit extract. Bananas are rich in potassium and vitamin A, so it moisturizes the skin without irritation. Beeswax. Beeswax is used as an emulsifier and a stiffener. 
for creating tablets and things like that here if you were to make a custom order or buy ingredients for yourself to take home and create tablets for yourself bergamot essential oil uh, bergamot essential oil has mild astringent properties and makes it a good treatment for seborrhea or chronic oily skin it helps ward off infection and accelerate skin's healing bilberry extract it's high in antioxidants it protects the skin and delivers oxygenated blood to the skin so it can receive nutrients black willow bark extract uh, that has antimicrobacterial properties so it kills bacteria on the surface of the skin it also has anti-inflammatory properties let's go on to the next page Blueberry fruit extract that helps with skin reparation and healing. <sighs> then we have Clary Sage essential oil. That's a relaxing oil with antidepressant qualities, and that is somewhere, uh, I believe. like to smell? Sure. Breathe in. Stock of some items. Okay. Cocoa butter is the solid fat expressed from the roasted seed of cocoa beans. It's really good for your skin. Coriander essential oil that reduces tension, mental fatigue, muscle spasms, arthritis, and rheumatism. Um, cranberry extract strong antioxidant and has protective qualities like fighting acne it's a uh, high in acid so it'll help exfoliate and brighten the skin as well cucumber extract reduces inflammation and it has cooling and calming properties for your skin that's why people put cucumbers on their eyes sometimes to get the puffiness down 
Epsom salt. Oh. Epsom salt you can get here, or I just put this out. Yeah, at any store, really. I'd prefer if you got it here. Uh, Epsom salt is a naturally occurring element made of sulfate and magnesium. It eases pain, reduces inflammation, and detoxifies the body. Yeah, just salt. Comes in very handy though sometimes. Oh, then I have eucalyptus essential oil. And that's from the tree in Australia. It clears sinuses. Next page. <sighs> oh, this isn't even a lot of ingredients. Some apothecaries carry everything. From honey to cocaine. I'm just reading you what I have in stock. Uh, ginger CO2 extract. That helps relieve muscular cramps, spasms, aches, stiffness in joints. I believe that one is right over there to your right. Hibiscus extract. Uh, hibiscus was historically used by the Chinese to treat dandruff. I think that's pretty interesting. It's also shown that hibiscus may have antibacterial properties. Uh, that one is... I'm so sorry about my squeaky chair. Right over here. it if you like. Go ahead. Breathe in. Okay. That right. Over here. is a natural aphrodisiac. It also helps with uh, healing scars. Yeah, Jasmine. Do you trust me? Do you trust me? You'll just have to buy some. Let's see for yourself. Then we have Kukui Nut Oil. It's easily absorbed by the skin and it helps treat skin irritation like burns sunburn, or things caused by eczema, psoriasis, uh, rosacea. Neem 2 extract. It's used to treat acne, burns, bruises, things like that. St. John's wort extract. It has antibacterial and antiviral qualities. That's this right here. Sit down carefully. It's particularly effective with the treatment of burns, cuts, scrapes, minor things like that. Thyme essential oil. Uh, that would be over here. It's 
this one. Just put that back right there. It's a strong antiseptic and it has anti-inflammatory properties. It also supports the regeneration of white blood cells. Um, and last but not least, we have xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is right over... Oh, to your left. Xanthan gum is a polysaccharide, which means it's a natural sugar, and it's used to naturally thicken agents of any care. Or if they you can make at your house for personal use. So, that's the menu. Well, I do have some off-the-menu items, but you need to have a certain password for me to share those with you. What's the password? Very good, Poppet. Okay. Then you are in the know, and you get to know. Let me just move this aside. you are asking to see was given to me by a very special supplier named, we'll just call her MF. This stock has properties that you would not believe if I told you. So, what I like to do, because the stock is so expensive, is I will give you a sample of each. You will take it, you will experience it, and then you will take an antidote capsule. The antidote capsule will stop the effects from the pill that I've given you initially, and then you can decide if you want to pursue the effects again by purchasing the pills. They all come in capsule form, aside from one that is aromatic, and one that is almost a gummy, but you swallow it all. Do you agree to these terms? Okay. Let me get everything together. <sighs> Antidotes. I don't have very many of these left. Uh, you'll need some water to take everything. Thing. So, get you craft water. Is this little tin cup okay? Alright. that'll be an, um, I'll just give you extra. What's the harm, right? Water's good for you. Don't 
spill it, okay? And then we can finish getting everything together. through everything and list them one by one and that way everything will be explained thoroughly to you and if you have any questions you can ask so we'll put this box right over here for now and we'll start with the Casper Casper capsule is right here. Oh, I'll be removing each capsule with a set of tweezers so that my hands don't have to touch any of the items that will be going into your mouth. I'm just going to show you the tools that I'll be using. The first has a long set of tongs. It allows me to pick up the bigger capsules and not cause any damage to them. The next this is pretty interesting. You might not have ever seen one like this. It's a tweezer, but when you squeeze it, it opens instead of closes. This lets me get into narrow spaces where I can just slide this in, squeeze it, open, let go, and it closes around it without me needing to aim overextend the tweezer. Then we have this one. This is pretty standard, except the tip is rather pointy. This is for smaller ones. And then we have the last one, which I like to call a duck, and it's because it looks like it's a little duck bill. It's thicker and lets me hold on to more slippery fare. Alright, so the first one is the Casper capsule. In here, it's a blue pill. I'll give it to you and you'll see what it does. working stock. See what I mean? Is it working? That's right. The Casper capsule allows you, or whoever takes it, to see through human beings. Now, since you have the password, 
I anticipate that you knew that you were getting into something a little bit extraordinary. It's certainly an experience. Can you see through me? I'll give you a little time with it before I give you the antidote. The antidotes are a little bit big, so just be careful and make sure that you drink enough water when you take them. Mm. Okay, ready? down good. The effect should start to fade. All better? Then we have mercury ice bubbles. Oh no, they're not. They're not bubbles. You'll see why it's called that in a moment. There you go. It should start to work in just a few seconds. Make your ice bubbles. Clear your sinuses by creating waves of tiny bubbles that pass through your entire body. I can't hear anything. Anything that you're hearing or seeing, it's only by you. What do you hear? Do you feel it? Does it hurt? Would you like a few more seconds with it? That's fine. I can just straighten up. Get rid of some of this garbage. Mandate of hers. Put that over there. About ready? Okay. Then it goes. Next, we have uh, the cowbell tablet. The cowbell tablet, right over here. The cowbell tablet is if you need a fever. The only prescription. 
description. There's more cowbell. There you go. Fevers. Raise the body temperature and kill off bacteria that is sensitive to changes in temperature. What you will experience will feel a rapid acceleration of the heat of your body. Kind of like a false fire spreading through from the tips of your toes all around your head. It shouldn't burn and you shouldn't feel the effects of a fever such as nausea, sweating, aches and pains. This just gives you the change in temperature to kill off anything that's not supposed to be there. Does it hurt? I can see that you're a little flushed, but I can't tell if it's because it's a new experience or because of the capsule itself. I'll sit with it, see if you like it, and if you do, you can always purchase more. They are pricey though. I'm just going to keep straightening up while you experience that. Ready for that antidote? There you go. Does it feel like a rapidly cooling? sensation or does it just kind of dissipate? Right there for now. Okay, then we have the Durden pill and that is in Special tweezers for this one. I keep it in a container that's rather hard to retrieve items from because it's a very special pill that should not be abused. Just take me a minute. Down the hatch. The turtle bell. Well, you'll hear in a moment. The turtle bell. 
certain pill comes around allows the user to hear voices essentially and it knocks you down now you might be thinking why would anyone want to hear voices and if you listen carefully to the voices you'll hear that give pretty good advice. It's also rumored that they can give one to a the stare at the sun and things that aren't known presently as far as information goes. Well, there's a rule about the dirt and pill and the rule is Success never is talk about the dirt and pill. Good. You can listen for a little bit when hiking. Not very long. Don't walk silently. The dirt and pill Good is surprise, the most bear. expensive one I have because of the propensity for if you don't stand for the kind of knowledge that it might relay. You have to warn you not to take too many of it. It can cause you to become unstable, erratic, and violent. Even though the words that it's saying are good things, good advice, things like that. It has been known to make the user have a thirst for chaos. So be careful. When life can you choose to pursue life a larger purpose. All better? Okay. So, a few more. If you're up for it. Uh, next on the menu is the Stragonona. Stragonona is back here. is different, a little different from the previous pill you've just experienced. Here you go. The Stragonona boils toxins out of the body. Much like a cowbell tablet, it creates heat creating harmful heat. It boils out the toxins and it flushes them out of the body through the skin. Uh, it does this in multiple passes, so you might experience a wave.
and so forth. Are you uncomfortable? ultimately up to you if you want to have more of it. I want you to sit with it though for at least a few more seconds to get the effect. doing okay. Okay, darling, good. A few more seconds. You're gonna feel much better after that one. Give you ten more seconds. We'll count it off with clicks, okay? One, two, You should see immediately what the aura side does. certain demographic of people who would know what to do with that kind of information. If you don't know what to do with that kind of information, this is a nifty novelty pill, but it really doesn't serve a purpose. Can you see mine? Is it nice? Does it move with me? I've always wanted to try it. I never take it though. It's far too expensive to replace. Just for experimentation's sake. You all right there? Good. All right, let's 
get you the end. So the next one is called Stratos and the Stratos pill is the red pill Certainly a pleasant one. Going in again with the special tweezers. I'm sure you'll understand in a moment. Don't panic. What you're feeling is the Stratus pill blowing out extra earwax from your ears, from the inside of your body, cleansing your ear canal of excess cerumen without causing any damage to the tympanic membrane. It might be a little bit jarring at first, but it should feel very good. Better than the best Q-tip you should have never used. I can give you a little bit more time with that. I'll just keep straightening up, I suppose. Breaking. Are you ready for the antidote? Okay. Give you a few more seconds. It's alright, Buttercup. I know that's a nice one. That's why there's only three left. I have to order more. 
MF will be pleased. Okay, it's antidote time. All done. Two more. We have pilot fish oil. No. Pilot fish oil might look a little intimidating. It's a little almost jelly like capsules. They're very squishy. This one so that I don't puncture them. There you go. Don't be alarmed. Pilot fish oil. It's like a pilot fish. It cleanses the skin of ectoparasites. The first time it does it in a very general way. Like a big broad sweep and gets all the bigger ones off of your skin. Next it goes in and meticulously picks off the rest. You shouldn't really Feel it, but you won't not feel it either. I don't hear anything, only you hear it. You're getting so clean. for a few more seconds. I can always find more work to do. give it to you. If you want more, you can always make a purchase. It's not a capsule at all. It comes in this little vial. The vial is filled with a liquid. You 
There's a little bead of it right at the top. I want you to smell it. This elixir works with your scalp, almost like a scalp massage. It exfoliates the skin on your head, making sure that the hair follicles get a rush of blood. It helps stimulate growth, health, and strength. It's a very popular one. I enjoy it. <sighs> it's getting very late. Well, you can have a little bit more time with it. Only a little though. going on, I'd like to show you. We do carry pill containers that are marked off by days of the week. So we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Each one has a lid that opens and closes that you can store all your pills and not get them mixed up. You can ration them off per day. If this is a little bit too boring for you, I do carry a brighter option, and that is this. one. The days are marked off by colors. So Sunday would be clear, Monday pink, Tuesday orange, and so forth. Each compartment serves as a lid for the next compartment, helping you keep track that way. So we have that. So have a keychain. It's a little silver one that you could keep small doses in. It has a cap that twists off. Like so. And screws back on. So you can keep if you need something handy with you. Okay, let's get you that antidote. And... Last one! Down it goes. custom orders for you. I can make it right in front of you. I have a pill tile, and what I do is I take a mortar and pestle, I pour in all the ingredients that are necessary, I determine what's necessary, and I mix it all together. I usually add syrup of glucose and a starch such as rhubarb, oh, maybe beeswax I could add in too, depending on what you need. And I roll it out like dough, and I'll, I'll, I can show it to you. However, I cannot create a custom order tonight. You'd have to come back for that. Okay? 
I can definitely do that. I can have the things that you want that are already prepared ready for you. And when you come back to pick them up, I can create the custom order. But it's so very late now, and I do need to get going to bed. So, I'll see you soon. Okay? It's a pleasure doing business with you. I'm glad to have met your new acquaintance. Hopefully we can do business again.